Hello everyone, welcome back to Gujarati Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Mortal Kombat 1 is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen and even black screen which is happening for many of the users right now and how you can fix it sir. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this particular trouble just follow these instructions and the first one is all about we have to do a simple restart and that is what we have to do. For doing a simple restart we just need to go over here in the start just click on this particular icon go for a simple restart. Once restart is done we just need to try launch the game and that is what we have to do. So this we just need to do this as a simple step and you can try this out. If the restart is not working we can move to the next one so restart is just a very basic step you can try when you are having this particular trouble so restart is not going to work for you you can try this out and if that is not going to work we can move to the next step next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to try the next one that is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder so we are launched the game right now from the steam so that is why we are having this particular issue so we need to launch the game from the installation folder for this we just need to go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the properties go to the install it file and just click on the browse so that will redirect you as to this particular installation folder if you check at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common mortal compact one so right now from here you can launch the game this is what we have to do so try launch the game from here so this worked for many users you can try this out if this is not working we can try two more steps from here in the same solution one among them is all about we need to run the game as an administrator for running the game as an administrator we have to right click over here and we have to go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties go to compatibility and we have to go over here and click on run this program as an administrator for running the program as an administrator did work for many users we can try this out and once after they just go for ok and once you are done with this one see whether the issue is solved and if the issue is still there we can try with the next one that is all about we need to run the game in the compatibility mode for running the game in the compatibility mode we have to right click over here and we have to go to the show more option go to the properties and go to the compatibility now from here we have to click on run this program in the compatibility mode and if we can set this to either to windows 7 go for apply and go for ok if windows 7 is not working we can go for windows 8 we can go for apply and we can go for ok as well so once you set this up check whether the issue is solved or not Still the issue is there and you are not able to uh, work fine and if the issue is still there we can try with the next one. That is all about we need to make sure the date, time and region is correct. For this what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go over here in the settings. Now from here go to the time and language. Over here make sure the date and time this should be correct this should be and this should be correct and if you just need to go back go to the language and region. Now from here we have to go over here in the United States. I mean the country or region make sure that you selected the country according to your geography and you have to set this up once after that we just need to close this and we have to go back try launch the game see whether the issue is solved and if the issue is still there we can try with the next one that is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game hit on the play button but at the same time we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this worked for many users you can try this out just press alt and tab now launch the game this worked for many users we can try this out if that is not working we can try with the next one that is all about we need to delete the saved game file so hence we are over here we just need to right click over here not there we can uh, do like this just go over here in the file explorer now go to this pc now from here go to the documents and now from here we can go to the my games and over here you will be able to find the folder for the mortal compact one when you started playing the game and saving each level so delete the respective folder from here i don't know how but this worked for many users you can try this out just delete the respective folder keep in mind when you do this you'll be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine just delete it once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason we have to go over here in the search. 
what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the control panel we have to go over here in the system and security go for windows defender firewall now from here what we need to do is we just need to go over here and allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now keep scrolling down and navigate to mortal combat so hence it is an uh, alphabet we can search over here right now as you can see the mortal combat one is already added and the private and public both has to be selected this is very important so once after done with this one we can move to the next one that is once you're done with this one if the game is not here we can add it by default that i'll be showing you that too for this click on the change settings now go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local to see go to program file x86 keep scrolling down navigate to steam and from here go to steam amps now from here go to common now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and now from here if you go to the mortal combat over here you'll be able to find mortal combat one select this one select this one and go for open and we can add it so right now i'm getting the error because the game is already added if the game is not there this is how we can add it once you add this we just need to click close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices i don't know how but this worked for many users because we might be connected with other peripherals joystick uh, you know uh, controllers logitech wheels or for any other game might be already connected on our pc which is causing the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to launch the game so before launch the game just remove everything from your uh, i mean unplug every devices from your usb port and keep in mind even if you wanted to continue playing the game with the controller launch the game afterwards just connect it back and try launch the game and that is what we have to do next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, do is we just need to perform a clean boot for this we just need to go over here in the search now from here we have to go to system configuration search for system configuration and go to services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay they're gonna ask you for restart so the users who are watching this we have to go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart because i'm having the issue because i'm shooting the video right now so that is why so once you exit without restart and once afterwards try launching the game and that will be working fine next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay for disabling the steam overlay we have to go over here right click and we have to go to the properties go to the installed file now from here not there just go to over here in the general make sure the enable the steam overlay while in game this should be turned off and once you turn this off try launch the game if that is not working we can try one more step that is all about we need to uh, give the commands in the launch option that is we just need to go over here so the commands are dx11 that is the first command give the command dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game so either dx11 or dx12 any one of the thing will be working fine and this is what we have to do once afterwards we just need to close this and we just need to try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card this particular step did work in for many users so we can try this out so just go over here in the search now from here go to the graphics settings now from here as you can see this is what the game is already installed over here i mean it's already added so we just need to navigate to the installation folder so just cl click on the browse go to this pc go to local disc c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down navigate to steam folder keep scrolling down navigate to steam apps go to common now from here go to uh, over here you can find mortal compact one select this one select this one add and go for add so once the game is added just go over here select the option and make sure this should be changed to high performance this is very important and this has to change this to high performance go for save once after this just close this and we have to go back try launch the game for many of the users when they did this it worked for them so you can try this out there is few more steps which you need to done that is all about we need to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go over here in the task manager and now from here as you can see what we need to do is as you can see there are a lot of things running over here so we need to close the unnecessary things for example the background process apps are already running and it is all utilizing the performance which is causing the crashing issue so we need to remove the unwanted things from here for example discord which comes to the category of overlay application and riva tuner msa afterburner and all these things which comes to the category of overclocking application so just remove everything from here once you remove everything we just need to close this and we just need to go back try launch the game 
Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory. For increasing the virtual memory, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go to view advanced system setting, go to the advanced tab, go to the settings once again, go for the advanced once again, go for change. Over here, we have to make sure that this particular thing should be unchecked and select the local disk C and we have to go to the custom size. The initial size should be 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here, we need a calculator. So what we need to do is we just need to type the RAM. So 32 GB should be given. So this is the RAM and multiplied with 1024. So that is 32768 and we have to multiply it with 1.5. So that is 14 and 152. So just copy this value. We can just copy this and we have to paste it. Next one that is all about we have to go to the maximum size so just type your RAM 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to sorry multiply with 1024 and multiply with 3 that is 98 304 so just copy this and we have to paste it as well. Once you're done with this one just go for ok set everything and once afterwards try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Still the issues there we can try with the next one that is all about we need to update the graphics card. So just go over here. So I'll be giving you the link in the description for both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. So the NVIDIA users have to go over here. And now from here in this page, you have to select everything like product type, product series, product operating system, language, etc. So let me select Windows 11, hence I'm on Windows 11 and RISP. Everything should be selected and go for start search. Now from here, what we need to do is we'll be getting the latest release to version that is Y37.34 which is released on September 12, 2023. So just download this, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Same way we have to go over here in the graphics. We have to select every details over here and go for submit. Now from here if you're on Windows 11 we have to download this one. If you're on Windows 10 we have to download this one. Restart, restart and mandatory. Once afterwards the restart, try restarting and that will be working fine. So even also you can try with try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. I don't know how this worked for many users, so you can try this out. Just keep scroll down in the page and go to the x64 if the system is based on x64. If the system is based on x86, you can download x86 version and once afterwards try launch the game. So keep in mind you have to do a restart after installing this and try launch the game. This worked for many users. Last, last two steps is all about we need to do is we just need to uninstall and reinstall the game for this we just need to go over here right click and we have to go to the manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back what we need to do is instead of doing on the same local disk you have to try any other local disk for example if you're having local disk d try installing it back on d for me this particular step worked for many games including uh, left 4 dead and even for the back four blood even for uh, you know uh, i have to say spider-man morales even uh, for me it lately it worked for remnant 2 for all these it worked so you can try the same next one is all about the last and the least one is all about we have to try verify integrity of game file for this is a very important step because it will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so just go over here right click and we have to go to the properties go to the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and the game is around 95.8 AGB so it's going to take a little bit of time and once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine. So these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with this. So let me wait this to reach 100% and I'll be showing you a few more steps once after this.
So once everything is done, as you can see, the 765 file is successfully validated. And once afterwards, try launch the game and the issue will be completely fixed. And this is what we have to do when it comes to how to fix this app. I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.